Welcome back to Breaking 100 for High Handicappers. We're looking at the worst case scenario on each hole and trying to avoid it. In this case, it's up the right hand side. As you can see, I've still got the hybrid. So the biggest club in my bag is still the three iron. Oops. Just block that a little bit. We're going to have a spot of bother here. Right, there's three things that make the ball rise. The loft of the club, the length of the shaft, and how fast you swing it. So I've got a six iron here. I'm going right down the grip. And although this looks like a foolish swing, it's actually very slow. So the ball won't rise, but it will run up the fairway and it will run onto the green. And that's how we get under things. One thing I would recommend is never give yourself a gimme. You need to hold everything. Another important aspect of improving is knowing what your average carry is with each club through the air. So hit 20 balls, get rid of the four long ones, get rid of the four short ones and take the average of the other 12. And on this hole, we always go for the fat of the green beyond the bunkers. There's plenty of space back there. And even if I'd absolutely turboed this club, it wouldn't have gone off the back. But if I'd hit it poorly, it would have probably still carried the bunkers and been safe. Every course is going to have long, difficult par force that we get two shots on. But if we treat it as a par six, change our mind, change our thinking, we might do better. Right, so by keeping left, the corner isn't any problem. If I'd gone up the right, I'd be in stum or snookered, whatever word you want to use. I got 187. I can't reach with the hybrid. All I can do is put it on the steep bank. So I want to get to the bottom of the bank. I think that's the best place I can go to make a bogey. Don't forget, we've got two shots here. So bogey is a net birdie. I've got an eight iron. Can it thin the win? Right, silly me. My watch was still stuck on the 11th hole. So, whatever yardage I said I had back there was probably wrong. Anyway, I got 71 here. I'm going with 50 degree. The sandwich just isn't going to make it. There's far too much loft built into the slope. It's just going to go up. So, I need less loft. Guess we'll lay up.
Well, that's a six for a net par. And I played the hole like a chump. So I think you can do better than that, can't you? I'm just teeing it up here just a fraction more than normal just to get a little bit more height worst case is obviously out of bounds on the right but uh, as we got the hybrid there's less chance of me hitting a big slice like I would with a driver strangely I finish up on this flat bit which is actually a good thing so I'm going to use that hybrid more often worst case is missing left down that bank and across the path so I've fired this at the right edge of the green. Really quite pleased with that. I might play the hole this way in future, regardless of my handicap. Well, we can't always drop it dead. So this is why we practice our four footers. If you can do this in practice, when you've actually got one on the course, it's no longer a knee knocker and it's almost a dead certainty. Got to keep practicing these. Every time, every time you go and play, practice those. Another big hole. The only place we don't want to go is the trees on the right. So I'm aiming down the left with this one. I've got 203 yards, so I can't reach the green. I'm going to be in the deep hollow short of the green. I'm going with a four iron. I, I could hit probably a six, or I could even hit the hybrid, but I've chosen a four. I don't know where that came from, but that's a mess. The dream is over. Well, no, you got to change your thinking. We're here in two. We get two shots. I've got a 52 yard par four. All right, it's uphill and it's a little awkward, but it's a 52 yard par four. Do you think you manage that? Change your thinking and it takes all the pressure off. An awful lot of slopes to contend with here, so I'm playing just to the end of the fairway 
so I don't drop down into the lower part. But this one has just flown. I've hammered it. I cannot begin to describe how difficult this is. The camera angle doesn't show how steeply downhill this is, although you can see it's below my feet. I'm just going for the front of the green and then make a bogey or perhaps a one putt par. Now I don't know about you, but I find getting up and down out of six feet of water somewhat problematic. And I don't want to be in the two bunkers left either. So we're just going to play up the slope. It's stroke six. If you're a 27 handicapper and you've broken a hundred, we've got two shots here. So let's use them. If we play sensible, we can get a four out of this and a net birdie. Nowhere near the water nowhere near the sand. I can get to any flag from here. Short, right, left, long, middle. I've effectively got myself about 35 yard par four. Let's do better than that. Last hole, place we can't go is OB right. So I'm aiming down the middle, a little left of middle, and we'll let the wind do its thing and we should be in play. I've put the camera up really high here so you can see a little further down the hole. 